Hi everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to or back to my channel. You might notice my intro looks a little bit different today and that's because of a lot of a controversy where every shade no longer works with Star Stable. That's not what this whole video is about though. That has sparked the inspiration for this video. Not just that, but also the addition of the global horse shop that was added today. I really feel the need to talk about a lot of these things. Star Stable is ruining their game. I've always defended them, but this is getting a bit out of hand. So I have literally always defended Star Stable, right? You know, I made the video, my first ever video was defending new star stable i've made a video on why star coin prices are not overpriced i've always been an avid defender of star stable yesterday they really done my head in to like an insane extent a lot of you saw my instagram story actually an overwhelming amount of you saw my instagram story it was kind of scary actually so you know where my view stands on this right so basically if you don't follow me on instagram what i essentially said in that story i do not care for anything star stable has done in the past they have never really annoyed me i did not care when we didn't get a star coin code in december i didn't care about their useless merch i also don't care who they hire who they choose not to hire that's none of my business i'll cut a long story short because a lot of you already know the title with this it's absolutely massive news okay I, this is not what the video is about in, in, as a whole Rishi no longer works with the game they've messed up their depth of field both of us or whatever not only that but star stable have come out and have been like listen this is not our problem you're gonna have to contact reshade but realistically it is their problem because it's something that they have changed that has caused this issue without reshade they literally wouldn't have as big of an audience as they do today they can really you know thank um reshade for a lot of older players still playing their game they can also thank reshade for their level of playtime whatever their playtime is a good 80 percent of that is from people using reshade and taking pictures with reshade i literally can't even begin to explain how much of a fundamental part of the game reshade is i'd also like to make it clear that without reshade a lot of your you know free advertising you're getting from your audience that wouldn't exist so basically like all your audience that are out there posting creative stuff on instagram all these realistic role plays on youtube that are getting thousands of views and then people are coming to your game to join your game they wouldn't be getting made without reshade i've really seen a lot of people come forward and they're like i am never buying star coins for this game again if i can't have reshade because what is the point they're like i don't i don't i don't train my horses i take pictures with my horses so if there's no reshade why would i care star stable's response was an absolute joke they're gonna have to fix it eventually but i hope they suffer the consequences first honestly after that judging by their responses today they're a little less harsh than they were yesterday so that's a little bit why i'm annoyed and why i'm thinking they're destroying their game but let's talk about this global horse store okay that was added yesterday to a select number of people's games it was added to mine unfortunately here is the global horse store in all of its glory you may be thinking that's underwhelmingly small exactly this is a global horse store that's not global this is a global horse store that's got about 12 horses in it this goes two ways um and both ways it's shit so way number one is that this is the global horse store in its entirety and they might add a couple of new horses to this every time a new horse is released so in that point it's not a global horse store and it's pointless and you may as well just go and buy the bloody horses right you're gonna have to go and look at the new ones anyway that's option one option number two is that this is still absolutely useless because it completely takes away the open world aspect of star stable this is something that i really i need to discuss because it's starting to really annoy me okay lately it feels like star stable is doing everything in their power to take away the open world aspect of their open world game it's a massive multiplayer online role-playing game that is open world that's what this is and it feels like they've done pr practically everything in their, in their power whether they've intended to or not to completely destroy the open world aspect of the game so the global horse shop i enjoy the global horse shop now that it exists but realistically if it never existed i wouldn't be disappointed and i also wouldn't really care that is the baseline fact of that <laughs> i i wouldn't care because shopping was fun you know you used to look on the database you used to see where items were and you'd go to the place and you'd shop around that is the point of an open world game you're supposed to be able to interact with the world you know explore it and do stuff in the world now with a game that i can name i will add that that last part on has a global store where you don't have to search around to buy clothes the open world games are not supposed to be so simplified as this they're supposed to have that element of challenge and fun that is what an open world game is otherwise it becomes boring and there's no use of interacting with the world right that's that's what it is so the global clothing store 
never really put, like done my head in because it was like well it does simplify it and again i mean not everything in the, is in the global horse store they need to fix that because this items of clover i now don't know exist because <laughs> they're not in there and that's all i look at but it doesn't do my head in that much because there were still other like aspects of shopping like the horses that didn't require this right i would also like to remind everyone that this is a horse game this is the whole thing of what Star Stable is based around. The whole world is designed around the inclusion of horses. Without horses, the game cannot exist, right? Therefore, buying horses is one of the most important parts of the game. That is literally one of the most important parts. Back in the day, in like late, late, late 2011, you literally couldn't own a, a secondary horse. Maybe in even early 2012, there was no extra horses to buy. Let me tell you, the game was boring. It was boring, okay? If you played Star Stable, you played it because you played the old games pretty much and that was it. Star Stable never really had much going for it back in the day. The inclusion of horses and the ability to buy new horses, even no matter how bad they were back in the day, that was so important for the game. And it was so fun, right? Buying horses is fun. You have to look around, you have to shop around, you spend ages deciding what you want. You know, it's fun, right? Especially since they scatter them around in different locations. You had the global horse store. It's like, we had this fun feature, whatever, we don't now. It's like, and like, I'm not being funny. A lot of people will be like, well, it's not that deep. Like you can literally just go and still shop around anyway. Like even with the global horse store, but that's the point, right? No one wants the global horse store. No one's ever going to use the global horse store. So why even add it? You know, it's a bad idea when everyone is like, listen, this is, this is dumb and I'm not going to use it even though it exists. It's just like, what is the point in even having it? And the thing is with New Star Stable, right? I think they've moved in the right direction in terms of like, oh, well, we want to add like these interesting new features to the game. We want to keep updating the game. We want it to be interesting. And in a way, I respect that. That is the right idea to have, right? constant change constant development constantly finding ways to improve the game but not every new feature is an improvement and that is something they really really need to think about and and realize it feels like they're adding all of these new features and then they're not even like you know utilizing them properly like we got this new show jumping feature right we got that new show jumping race where is that in the equestrian festival this is literally the perfect time to feature that is it not obviously i've spoke a lot of times in a lot of my videos about the death of realism in this game the fact that they've removed call tolerance they've removed the fact that horses get tired they've removed the fact that you have to care for your horses throughout the day your horses no longer move faster on roads i could literally go on and on and on about realistic features that they've removed from this game right at what point, especially when people are begging for you to add these features back, do you sit back and look and think, hmm, maybe we're the ones in the wrong, right? Maybe just because we've removed them things, we don't have to be stubborn and stick to these things and we can literally just add them back into the game. Why, why is this not clicking, right? Why is it not clicking? Here's the part where I'm getting worried, right? Which is why I've made this video. Coming back a little bit to Reshade because this is what's really sparked the motivation for this video and like i said this is where i mean when I'm, I'm getting a bit worried about the game not necessarily worried about the removal of reshade i'm worried about star stable's response to it and the way they went about responding to their players they were basically so dismissive and were just like this isn't our problem contact reshade which in any other circumstance i'm gonna fail this fucking race no i'm not which in any other circumstance would have been like well yeah because reshade's not star stable's business they don't make reshade it's just an external platform so in a way that would be right only reshade doesn't work now because something they have changed and can we notice the game doesn't play any differently it doesn't operate any differently nothing looks different can't you just undo it like why is it so hard for you to do that and maybe it instead of you know getting people with absolutely no position of power to beg reshade to do something about it in terms of operating with star stable why don't you do something about it like at the end of the day it's star stable's naivety to it that i think has really annoyed me more than anything and the dismissal of it because it's like without reshade in your game you're literally losing so much playtime. and i don't know much about like you know the whole politics of it but i know that they have shareholders that they need to impress and i know that playtime and how often your you know your audience plays your game 
is one of the most important things for a game to continue getting funding for updates, right? And honestly, you can't thank your game for that. You can thank Reshade's operation with your game for that. I was never concerned about the future of this game because I was like, well, you know, there's so much going for it and realistically, new audiences are always going to start playing with it. I worried about it last night because I was like, you don't even seem to care. I'm always like, oh, well, Star Sleeper really listen to the community these days. And they have been, but like now, after yesterday, it's like, but are you? Like I said, the most important part of listening to your community is being able to accept where you're wrong. You know, you're not always right. If you've went wrong with a feature, it's okay to take a step back and be like, listen, we effed up, we're gonna change this and we're gonna change it back to the way it previously was. Just because you've started working on a feature or because you've removed a feature doesn't mean it was the right thing to do so. And sometimes it's okay to step back and be like, hey, listen, I've made a mistake, we'll fix it, we'll listen to what you're saying, right? Why is that so hard for them? It shouldn't be that hard. It should literally be that easy, right? If all of these features that they removed that complicated the game, like cold tolerance, etc., were 2012 features, sorry, cold tolerance is 2015, but like everything else was like 2012 features, right? If you could do that in 2012, you can do that in 2024. It's not hard to add back into your game. Even if they add reshape back into the game very soon, this video still remains just as relevant because they're killing their open world aspect of the game. And I am starting to become a little bit concerned because of their stubbornness, because they always think they're making the right choices and because they think they have to follow through with every single decision they make you don't you've got a community of people sat behind you giving you constructive criticism you should probably start listening to it